it safe. But being able to survive a deadly fall? I think that's good enough for me. Number three, nobody likes waiting. Whether it's waiting in line, waiting for files to download, or a video to buffer, nobody likes their time wasted. Which largely makes nether portals a pain to deal with. In survival mode, not only do you have to wait for the whole sickness animation to play out, but then you've also got to let an entire other dimension load on the other side. It's not exactly speedy, to say the least. But if you've got some items, you may be able to cut that down. You see, by using nether portal chunk loading, all it takes is throwing an item to the other side, and then all of a sudden, it'll do all of the loading for you. So going forward, maybe take the time to hit the Q key. It might just save you some down the road. Number four, I think every kid's wanted to be a spy at some point. I mean, why else would there be so many different spy items available at book fairs? It's supply and demand, folks. So while I'm not saying you'll become a full James Bond in Minecraft, this might at least put you one step closer. Secret messages are a classic bit of spy technology, but even when you use the message command, that isn't always secure. So if that's the case, let's turn to invisible ink, otherwise known as nether hyphae. Now, laid out on the ground, these don't look like much, but give your friend a map, and now it's a hidden message. No matter where you go in the world, you've got yourself a private messaging app, and better yet, the server mods will be none the wiser. Number five, I think we all can agree the channeling enchantment's pretty great. For one, not only is it fun to summon lightning like your last name is Odinson, but that very lightning allows you to change and manipulate different mobs. So when you're fed up with typical mushrooms and you're looking for a change, well, bam. It's great, but obviously all that lightning can get pretty dangerous. So if you're trying to do your magic without all the pain of electrocution, maybe try this. You see, by placing down an item frame, all you have to do is zap that, and the job gets done the same way. Except this time, no one's getting hurt in the process. Which is nice, because really, there's no point in converting a corpse. Number six, who doesn't love roller coasters? No one I want to hang around with, that's for sure. And it's because of this mutual love of roller coasters that I'm sure we've all tried to set up a thrill ride once or twice. But a real test is what your friends think. Though, it's pretty boring to just set them off and wait till they get back. So, to make that journey a bit more inclusive, why not upgrade your ride? You see, since minecarts can pick up entities, and boats happen to be entities, you can essentially make a two-person cedar minecart to ride the rails. So, not only do you get a goofy ride to go around in, but you can also build up some surprising propulsion by rowing the boat, which I think we all can agree are pretty great things. Number seven, redstone timers can be a bit complex to build. And while sure, there are comparably simpler options like hopper clocks and such, if you're really looking to make a no-brainer redstone clock, then this is your candidate. As you'll see, our solution here is gravity and a violation of the Geneva Convention. By having a mob stand on top of some turtle legs, there's a set amount of time before they crack. So given that, there is a theory that you could form some kind of timer using turtle eggs. Is it immoral? I guess it doesn't seem the nicest, but if you're really looking for a timer that's light on redstone, this does do the trick. So maybe Maybe just keep this behind closed doors and don't let your visitors know how the sausage gets made, all right? Number eight. In Minecraft, it's often easy to accumulate your fair share of junk. And while throwing that stuff into a fire is a fun pastime, what if you really want to get rid of something? Like, say through some chance you came across a particularly cheaty piece of 